What's going on guys, also here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new team of the season, player SBC to review today and it is going to be Kostic. Now I took a moment to look at this card and I just saw the stats on it and I was like, hold up a second. He could be absolutely insane if EA go ahead and give him a skill move upgrade. They didn't do it. They gave him three star, three star. Obviously, he already had the three star skill moves, but I don't believe he had the three star weak foot. So he had two star weak foot. They upgraded to three star. You know, it's still not the greatest. Even though the stats look simply incredible, three star, three star is always going to hurt this card. But he has got 97 pace with 93 dribbling, 94 shooting, 89 passing, 88 physicals with the 75 defending as well. He is a six foot player, high, high work rates, and he is left footed. Now, when it comes down to the chem style, I will be having two different chem styles on this card today. Starting off with the finisher chem style because I do want to move this guy in a striker position just to see how the shooting ability is, see how the dribbling and all of that kind of comes into play in that striker position. So yeah, we are going to start off with the finisher chem style. The reason I've gone for it is simply because the agility. Even though you're losing out on the shot power, that agility is going to be crucial to his game when it comes down to turning players inside out. The other chem style I will be going for is a sentinel chem style and I will be playing him in the left wing back position because I feel like the left wing back position for this guy it's probably going to be it's probably going to be the position a lot of people are going to play him in so yeah halfway through the review we will be switching him to that position moving on though we have the pace 98 acceleration with 96 sprint speed the guy is insanely fast now his shooting ability he has got 99 attacking positioning with 99 finishing 99 shot power 96 long shots 97 volleys with the 85 penalties as well he should be very clinical inside that box with that left foot now the right foot could be a little bit questionable because obviously it is a free star weak foot but has he got a shooting trait he does he has the outside foot shot trait which is a very good trait to have if you have a free star weak foot so hopefully we can get him in you know a few angles to go for that outside foot shot trait either way passing ability he has got 91 vision 99 crossing 93 accuracy 84 short passing 82 long passing with a 89 curve as well passing ability looks okay i guess you know if you're playing him down the line the crossing ability is always going to be nice to have, right? But a short passing and long passing doesn't look like anything special. Now, his dribbling ability, he has got 95 agility with 91 balance, 91 reactions, 93 ball control, 99 dribbling, and a 90 composure as well. I'm telling you guys, if this guy just had that skill move upgrade, if this guy had that four-star skill move to his game, he would be unreal. Like, those dribbling stats look disgustingly good. It's just, you know, having three-star skill moves, it's going to be hard to kind of beat players 1v1. But moving on to the physicals because we're not going to read out the defending stats just yet because we'll read them out when we actually apply the center to chem style so yeah the physical 74 jumping 99 stamina 85 strength with the 86 aggression as well he is going to be a player that's going to be bullying bullying players off the ball and that is something you do love to see now when it comes down to the links for this guy nationality not the greatest for the links club wise not the greatest for the links so yeah bundesliga league is obviously the way you have to go or you can put icons around him like i have i've gone for your boy Hullet and your boy Alfonso Davis. Now, when it comes down to the positions, as I said, strike position with the finisher chem style in a 4 4 2, and then I'll switch it halfway through the review in a 5 2 1 2 formation and play him left wing back with the sentinel chem style. So let's get into the games. Pass out. There you go. Cross stitch. Use that pace to get around a corner. Keep going, bro. This is against foot birthday Bayi, and he's done so well. Can I get maybe a pass? Hold up. I can go for a finesse shot here. I'm going to trust into that weaker foot. And we are going to get the first goal with Kostic. And apparently, we're going to get ourselves our first rage quit as well. Give it through the middle. There you go. Oh, nice touch. Good dribble as well. Can we get a finish? We are going to get a finish. And it's going to be three minutes into this game as well. That movement, by the, by the way, the way he like kind of went in between those two players to give me that passing option was really good. And obviously the finish, it was pretty much like a guaranteed goal. Dummy that. There you go. Flick that around the corner, maybe. Use that pace. Well played. Oh, my God. No. We just couldn't get on the end of it there. The, but you can clearly tell, by the way, the pace is going to be absolutely insane. The way he's flicking the ball round players as well. Come on. Get an RBA going there. There you go. Good scoop turn. Kostic is going to make that run. I want to see if he wants to give me a passing option. He does. Touch. Flick. Oh, my God. Power shot. Nah, we're getting lucky. No way Varane clears that on the line. I should have probably done a little bit better to create him an angle and shoot on that left foot. But hey, we come out of the ball either way. Somehow, some way, we've got a penalty, boys. I don't want to say how because it was quite embarrassing, to be fair. But Kostic, bro, step up to the plate with your 85 penalties. 
Is it just me or does Oblak look extremely small in that goal? Bro, are you going to save that? You aren't going to save it. But yeah, he looked really small in that goal. I don't know if it was just me, but either way, we end up going for the chip towards the top bins and we get the goal. Can I get a flick? Oh my god, how we got away from that is mind-blowing. But look at that pace, man. I'm telling you, do not mess with when it comes down to this guy's pace. Pen? Oh, I thought he was going to get lucky. But yeah, the pace is absolutely insane on this guy. I've seen in so many occasions him literally just go round players for fun. Straight to him. Nice. Play the ball. He makes that movement up. Oh, that's perfect. Shoot. Oh my god. I'm telling you guys right now, the right-footed finishing is not looking bad at all. And this guy's paused it. But I think he paused it before we scored the goal. So I doubt he's going to rage quit. But we'll take the goal. Can I get an X ball? That is a real question. Kostic, touch it down, bro. There you go. And just switch it. Not bad. Not bad of a pass at all. Hold up a second. We might actually be able to score here. Into the inside. He's made the run. I'm telling you guys right now. This guy does not have a freestyle weak foot. No chance. For me, his finishing ability is so good. So it looks like his freestyle weak foot is better than what he actually what is meant to be. If that make, kind of makes sense. It feels like he's got he's a four star weak foot. And that is something that you love to see, man. Biggie, this been cancelled. Oh, that's a nice turn. I can tell you guys right now, I wanted to pull out a Burba spin so badly there. And I know you can still do it with a three-star skiller. It's just, it's extremely, and I repeat, extremely slow. So there's not really a point of doing it. And this is the problem, right? The only way, like the only proper way of getting past people with this guy right here is like shielding them off and trying to create an angle with like a fake shot or even maybe a directional nutmeg. So you can't do a lot with him inside the box. But the thing is, you get him the ball when there's a shooting opportunity, he's going to finish it. Pass that up. Royce on the ball, passes it down. Flick on maybe one more time. Flick on into the inside. I turn it onto the left foot. He takes a beautiful touch and shift it back onto the left. And we end up scoring ourselves a nice goal. Oh, he's there. Flick it. Oh my god. Fake shot back in the inside. Free star. We oh my, we got lucky. We got so so lucky. I don't know how he actually missed that because that was a good opportunity just to bury it into the back of the net. Like the angle was literally perfect. All he needed to do was hit it on target because the keeper pretty much had no chance. But we hit the post, but we end up getting a rebound on it. Ball roll to keep that in. Well played, lad. Oh, that's beautiful. Fake shot around the corner. Pass across. Touch forward. Bang. Shot. Goal. Simple as that. That little directional. From your boy Kostic to get round them Babu was simply amazing. As I was gonna say, is this guy paused it? He has paused it, but I don't think he's actually gonna end up rage quitting. But yeah, all from Kostic there, just starting off with that pace just to get round the corner. So we have applied the Sentinel Chem style onto this card now, and we are gonna see how good the defensive ability is actually going to be. Now, for me, the striker position he was playing pretty well there. The movement was top tier, the pace was insane, and the shooting ability was also very nice. I actually think we scored like six or seven goals with this guy. Either way, boys, the defensive stats he has got 81, 81 interceptions, not bad at all. 85 hitting accuracy. 86 defensive awareness, 84 standing tackling with the 81 slide tackling as well. The defensive stats don't look anything crazy, right? But I still feel like he is going to be putting in solid tackles because of that aggression. The aggression going from 86 to 96 should make him very aggressive when going in for the tackles and should make him actually come out with a ball way, way more often. But let's see how he's going to play in that left wing back position. Is Kostic already going to be on that defensive duty? He is. The guy is going to challenge him when it comes down to the pace. And we all know, we all know that's not going to end well. Especially with some of the examples we have seen with his pace. Yeah, this guy is not going to be getting out pace in that left wing back position anytime soon. And he puts in a good interception there. Hold up a second. Good use of pace once again. Fake shot around a corner. Just keep it going. Keep it going. There you go. I kind of want to cross this. Yeah, I wanted to cross it towards Waman back stick because we all know Waman is not the shortest of players, but it clearly didn't work out. Continue to press him. Is he going to run down the line? He is. Kostic just gets in front of team of the season, Sancho. Oh my God. I thought for a second. Oh, okay. I thought for a second he was actually going to lose the 50-50 battle, but he didn't. We ended up getting a foul for it. But do you see the aggression? He was tr really, really trying to fight for the ball there. Oh, he's going to try to pass it for the gap, isn't he? He's going to go for it. We end up getting the interception. Well played, Kostic. You know what? I'm just going to go for a switch. It is going to be with a three-star weak foot. And it's not going to end well at all. Please say we don't concede off this. Don't allow him down. 
No turn. Get straight into it. We go for a slide tackle and it's a pretty good slide tackle. He's on that overlap already. Look at that, man. All right. Why ball it? Why not? Keep it going. Any RBXs? No. Cut back. Give it to your boy. I believe. Yeah, I believe this is Alfonso Davis. Are we going to get the finish? We are going to get the finish. I have no idea why Davis is up front, but he clearly can play there. Maybe he tried to press him a little bit. Is he going to through ball Sancho? He didn't really through ball him. But we're going to stay on him. No cutback. No cutback at all. There you go. We put in a solid tackle. We put the player onto the ground as well. Use that pace. Continue going. Good use of strength, by the way, just to hold off Sancho. Burrow inside. You know what? We're going to go for it. All right. If, do you believe me if I actually told you that was an LBY and that was meant to go all the way to the right wing back? I don't think a lot of people would, but <laughs> that's what I tried. Going to see if I can maybe press this a little bit. He tries to go in behind. We try to go for an interception. Doesn't really work out. Going to see if I can use that pace to catch up to team of the season, Sancho. It doesn't work out. He gives it to Carrasco and Carrasco actually ends up missing it. It's clear as day that, you know, when it comes down to his defensive ability, there is occasions where stuff like interceptions is going to end up bouncing off him time to time. Give it to him on the low overlap. Well played. Just continue to run here. Maybe I can give it to Alfonso Davis. Is he going to continue making that run? He does. He does really well with that, by the way. I've noticed every single time he sees a space in behind. Nah, I wanted that to Davis. But yeah, every time he sees a space in behind, he really does go for it. And obviously, with a player that has his kind of pace, it's always helpful. Don't allow the overlap because I know he wants it. Continue to go out to him. He actually sent me there. Nice. Well played. Good tackle. We actually are going to come out with a ball as well. I don't know how. How that's not a goal. How that's not a corner. Sorry. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing four games with Kostic. Not five. Even though it says five there. One of the games the guy literally paused the game straight off the bat and just instantly left. So we're obviously not going to count that as a game. So yeah. Four games played. Seven goals scored with a two assists as well. This guy's shooting ability really came out to play today, didn't it? Like left foot, right foot. It did not matter. The ball was ending up in the back of the net. And I was shocked because usually with a player that's got a three-star week for you question it a lot right you you're sitting you're sitting there like saying to yourself he's probably going to miss out on so many opportunities it is ridiculous but he didn't i was even challenging it i was hitting on a first time in certain occasions and it was still ending up in the back of the net so yeah three star weak foot is a lie i feel like this card does actually have a four star weak foot but the skill moves we can't kind of, you know, we can't sit there and avoid that. With the three-star skill moves, it's always going to be hard to create angles with this guy. But he managed to do it with, obviously, his movement and all. So, it's not the end of the world if you know how to use three-star weak foot. But, obviously, you know, it's not really the meta when it comes down to playing in that striker position. Or even playing in a winger position in FIFA 21. But, boys, do I believe this card is worth 150k? It is currently going for... 150k, I'm going to be honest, isn't a bad price at all. It really isn't. But when you have someone like Lazaro, that team of the season moments card, going for 120k, there's literally, literally no need to go ahead and get this card right here. It is simple as that. Lazaro for 120k is just way more worth it than Kostic for 150k. But let's get straight into the ratings. Pace-wise, I'm going to be honest to you guys, 10 out of 10. He 100%, 100% deserves it. He is... One of the fastest players I've seen in this game. The way he just like sprints straight through people is ridiculous to see. So yeah, for pace, 10 out of 10. Shooting ability, he had a cracking shot on him, didn't he? So for shooting, I am going to give him, I would say, like a 9.4 out of 10. I don't want to go too high because I know there's going to be certain situations that he will obviously act like he actually has that three-star weak foot. But trust me, in most occasions, it does feel like a four-star weak foot. But yeah, shooting, 9.4 out of 10. Passing ability, bro. I was struggling when it came down to going for like a complete switch all the way to the other side when it came down to me going for like an overtop through ball. So yeah, for the passing, it simply was not the greatest. So I will give him, I would say like an 8.3 out of 10. It wasn't bad, but that was completely, completely nothing special about it. Dribbling ability. I mean, the R1 dribbles felt amazing on this card. And you do notice the difference, by the way, if you put like a finisher chem style and a sentinel chem style. Obviously, the finisher chem style giving this guy the extra plus 10 agility, you are going to notice the difference. But I'm going to be honest, with the sentinel, it didn't feel bad at all. It really didn't. It's 100% usable. So for the dribbling, I am going to give him... I'll say like an 8.9 out of 10. He still deserves a high rating because the R1 dribbling and the left stick dribbling felt really good with him. It's just beating players 1v1 with this guy, especially inside the box, is going to be very hard in certain occasions. Defending. 
defending was pretty good. It, there was, as I said, nothing special about it. R there really wasn't. Like, he put in some good tackles in certain occasions, but there was other occasions where he would go in very aggressively, but he would go in too aggressively, and it would come out with the player and not the ball. So, yeah, defending was okay, I suppose. So, I will give him, I'll say, like, an 8.4. An 8.4 out of 10 for the defending. Moving on to the physicals was something I really did enjoy. The strength and him bullying players off the ball was insanely good. So, for the, for the physicals, I am going to give him... I'll say like a 9.2. A 9.2 out of 10 for the physicals. But an overall rating out of 10, I will give Kostic... I'll say like a 9 out of 10. I'm telling you guys right now, he is not a bad player at all. He really isn't. It's just that three-star skill moves that really, really lets this card down. I'm telling you guys right now, if they gave this card four-star skill moves, a lot of people would instantly go ahead and do them. But I feel like a lot of people will stay away from him because of those three-star skill moves. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.